we already done everything that we needed to do for in our application here. So now, as you can see, we're able to scroll left, or I guess right and left, and we can see all of the quotes and their respective writers or authors. Okay, that's very nice. The last thing we need to do here to spice things up a little bit is we're going to change this color or the color of our card here uh, randomly. That way we have this element of surprise, if you will. So uh, we're going to randomize the color that will show inside of this card here. Okay. So to do that, let's go back to our quote fragment. At the bottom here, I'm going to create an int. I'm going to say get random quote. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass an integer, an array of integer called color array. Okay. So inside here, I'm going to create an integer which will hold a color. And then I'm going to say int quotes array length. We'll see in a second why I'm doing this. I'm going to say color array dot length such. And next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a random number. So I'm going to say int random num. And I'm going to use this thread locale random such. I'm going to say that current next int. And I'm going to pass the quote array length as such. So here what we're doing here, we're just creating a an int random number here via our thread locale random current. And we're saying next and we're passing the length of the array, which we're going to be passing uh, as when we call the get random quote. Okay. Once that is done, well, I'm going to say color, I'm going to set it to color. array and of course I'm going to pass the random number. So this will do is for inside of our color array which is going to be passed we are going to randomly pick a number from our random number we created here and then we're going to choose a number from this color array which we'll create later. That's it. Okay and of course for that I'm going to just go ahead and say return color which will be the actual color picked randomly. So this means now, inside here, uh, I have this card view that we created earlier, which points to this card view here. So what are we going to do now? Very simply, I'm going to go at the bottom here. And I'm going to say, first, I'm going to say int. I'm going to create an array of colors. I'm going to say int colors such is equal to new int array and I'm going to just go ahead and write a few here. Notice I'm going to go ahead and start getting all of the colors from our resources here. Let's go to values, there's colors. Remember all these colors? Yes. Those are the ones that I'm going to be getting here. So the first one I'm going to say blue 500 such. So I'm just going to find different colors, of course, and say for like 900 color that green 400. Let's see lime 400. Okay, so I'm just getting all these different colors. So of course you can choose different colors as well. Say so orange, 400. Amber, 800. Uh, let's say our dot color dot pink, 900. That's fine. Uh, let's say 800 because that's we've already used that one. Seven hundred such. Very well, nice. So now we have our colors array, which we can pass in, which we can use to pass to our get random quote. Okay, so.
Now that I have that at the bottom here, what I can do, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and say card view that set background resource, and I'm gonna pass the method get random quote, and of course I'm gonna pass the array colors that we just created at the top here. Okay, that's it. So now if we save and give it a quick run, we should see this very nice element of surprise that you'll see here. Look at that. And now we have this color. So if you go next, of course, the random number is not very accurate, but at least gives us the sense of surprise here. Look at that. It goes back to that color. Look at that new colors. And you see again, you see that there's repetition here, but it's okay. Ah, very nice. So the more colors you add into our colors array here, which we are feeding inside of our get random quote, uh, the better chances you have of getting different colors. So I'll suggest you go and add as many colors as you can possibly can and uh, and just check it out and see uh, how it all works. Okay, this is really nice. Look at that. Very cool. Okay. So, so we just finished creating a functional quotes app that is able to go and fetch all of these quotes and their respective authors from the internet, from our JSON API, and then we created a view pager and we created this very nicely done, as you can see here, background, we added a little icon. So um, the idea here is for you to go ahead and make this your own so go ahead and maybe add something else you could add perhaps other buttons here that will allow you to actually share these quotes with your friend or send an email i mean there's so many things you can do and i'm very confident that you can actually uh, figure something out new that you can add to this app to make it your own okay and as always i would like to see whatever you do with these apps i would like to see what you've done to the app to make them your to make it your own so I would really appreciate if you could take a screenshot and send to me or post uh, in our forums or just go to build at builds app with me. That's my Twitter handle and share those screenshots. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.